Welcome everybody to a place that I haven't been to in three years, King's Dominion here in Doswell, Virginia. I'm extremely excited to be here, especially for Tim Beely, Mr. Timbers, and of course, I-305. Here's the new map if you're curious. I'm super excited to be here today and can't wait to ride some coasters. So here we go. The world's longest floorless roller coaster, Dominator. First stop, because why not? Probably a station wait. Hopefully a station wait. And I just saw Tumbili over there. Cannot wait to get back on this thing after three years. Second to last row on Dominator. Here we go. Dominator. That is one of the worst B&M rattles I've ever experienced. That thing, very rattly, especially on one of those last turns. Anyways, I think I'm gonna head to Tumbili after I film this for a little while. Let's head there. I'm already getting some Jungle Expedition vibes because there it is, Tumbili. Honestly, not sure what I want to think about this yet. But I'll wait till I ride it. Can't wait. new for 2022 SNS free spin to Beely. Um, I only got like one flip, so I probably will be back. But it's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely smoother than Dominator. Gotta come back to make sure that this might be in my top three. And there it goes again. But yeah, going to Reptilian next, the formerly known as Avalanche. So that'll be next. And I'm pretty excited to get on my first bobsled right after my first SNS 40 free spin. In comes Reptilian. Going in the very fast. Should be good. I've heard the second half of this thing is much better than the first. Let's see if I agree with that statement. Just got off of Reptilian, my first ever bobsled coaster. Did not ride this as Avalanche, but gotta say, Jungle Expedition theming so far is really nice. Quite like it. And there it goes up the lift now. There, Cypher 5. I think I just saw it tested. So we're gonna head over there. After I get some footage of this coaster. Had a bit of a rattle, but that's okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't incredible. Oh, what a beautiful sight. And there it goes up the lift hill. I think there might be people on it, so let's go check it out. I'm finally back for my number one coaster. I'm running one train, but it doesn't matter because this thing is so dang fast. But yeah, speaking of, I got off I-305 for the second time in a row. And this thing is ridiculous. The rapid transitions, the sprinkle of airtime, and their strengths don't even bother me that much. Also, this is straight up facts. This coaster is better than Fury 325. No, not that one. This one. Also, this masterpiece deserves a repaint. I don't know how often King's Dominion repaints their coasters, coasters but they do need to repaint them a lot. Except that thing. And uh, how is that thing not in the scrapyard yet? Anyways, pointless rant over. Probably gonna get some footage of this thing and then skedaddle. 
and then come back and ride it again and again. You get the idea. So, uh, see you at the next destination. Are you kidding me? They're not even gonna run a test train, so I'm out. Gosh darn it. Excuse me. Anyways, I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'm not entirely sure yet. But anywhere but here because my favorite coaster is not running. At least I got on it twice. So I'll see you wherever I go next. Well, Flight of Fear it is. First time in three years. I just got off Flight of Fear. I-305 still down. Ooh, butterfly. Saw one at Bush, now I see one at KD. Rest in pieces, Volcano. Um, there's Anaconda. And I'm heading over to Backlot Stone Coaster. But overall, Flight of Fear, kind of rough. Uh, the metal bar right that holds the lap bar is sort of, yeah, it squished my thigh. But it was all right. A bit bumpy, but I would not recommend coming here if you have a headache. Let's just say that, because you got Flight of Fear, that hunk of junk, I-305, which is super intense. But there are some coasters here that you can ride without a headache, like the one I'm going on next with the shortest queue line in history, Backlot Stone Coaster. Pretty excited for this one, so uh, sit back and relax on this family through ride. Just got off of the family launch coaster backlot stunt. Backlot for short. And that thing kind of sucked. So um, there's this little bump right here. Probably supposed to give you airtime at the climax, but it ended up fracturing my spinal cord on the uh, concrete seats. So it's a bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Because, excuse me, because it's okay. It's not as bad. It's not as good as I remember, but off we go to elsewhere other than here. Singing mushrooms aren't singing. What is this place? I also heard that drop tower is down, which is very unfortunate. I just saw Delirium going, but we are in Candy Apple Grove. And it's not the best themed area in the park, but it does have one of the best coasters in the park, which is just over there. So I'm gonna head over there, get a closer look, and we will eventually ride Twisted Timbers. Nobody talks about this drop and I don't know why. I love that drop. Anyways, Twisted Timbers time. Just got off of Twisted Timbers. The second best ride in the park. Only close second. Just running up by 305s. I don't know. But um, overall, this is a really great ride. Airtime is insane in the back row. Got a back row right seat and also front row left seat. Two of the opposite seats. And gonna be honest, I prefer the back row for its insane thigh crushing airtime. But it's worth it as long as you only ride it like once or twice in the back. So I'm gonna get some footage of this and then off, off I go to elsewhere in the park. It's been 
station waits the entire day. It's a Tuesday, so I expected that, but there is absolutely nobody. I-305 is supposedly still down, which is unfortunate, but I'm gonna have some three o'clock lunch. So, uh, yeah. I'm back at the best ride in the park. And next to that pump stuff. All right, third ride on the masterpiece known as I-305. Third time, third time's the charm. As they say, might go in the front this time around. Here we go. They just shut it down again. Again. You're joking. Which track has been whipped out? I think they're switching out the trains. The train is stuck on the lift hill. So as you guys saw, that was Intimidator 305 being an Intamin coaster. I'm here with Matt from What's Coasters up? with Matt. And uh, we just saw the switch track and I-305 get stuck on the lift hill. Yeah. Gotta <laughs> love it. <laughs> yeah, freaking Intamin's man. Yeah. How can this hunk of junk go up a lift hill properly, but this 2010 coaster can't? Uh, good old intimate. We love them, but we also hate them sometimes. So, yeah, anyways, go subscribe to Coasters with Matt. He's on a coaster trip right now, so once this gets up and running, you should be able to get an awesome ride or two or three because there's nobody here. I 305 completely shut down for the day, and they gave us. Quick key pass, which I'm not sure that I'll use, but I might use it for my re ride on Tumbili. So, yeah, that's it there. I just got off of my re ride from Tumbili. And that thing is ridiculous on the other side. Seats five and six. That's where you need to go to get some incredible flips. And also, press your head against that headrest as hard as you can, because that thing flips you like heck. Explorers supplies. You guys gotta come in here and check this stuff out. Got some pretty cool shirts. Really awesome water bottle. I've got this really open space right here that I adore. Cups, just a bunch of stuff, random stuff. Sloths, quite like the sloth, very underrated animal. And overall, this shop is really, really cool. Displaying some really, really cool stuff. So come in here and have a look whenever you're at King's Dominion. And if you need to know where it is in the vicinity of Tumbili. There's Tumbili right there. And it's right here. So, yeah. Oh, I'll go to King's Main Doctor Tower. The tower rises to a height of 331 and a half feet, which is 224 feet shorter than the Washington Monument. Here we are on top of the Eiffel Tower. It's my first time doing this, so it's a bit new to me, but you can see the Windseeker way over there that view. Anyways, uh, there's the drop tower which was unfortunately closed and still is. There's the worst roller coaster I've ever ridden, Grizzly. And 
and one of the best roller coasters I've ever ridden, Twisted Timbers. Uh, you can see Ferris Wheel, Rebel Yell, Anaconda, and Intimidator 305 is running again. So that's good. It's pretty windy up here, but um, yeah. It's a very cool view. I'm just gonna enjoy this, film, film some coasters, and uh, yeah. off of Eiffel Tower. Very unique experience. Y'all need to go, come up here, come up there, go up there, whatever, and experience that because it's very cool. Unfortunately, I was zoomed all the way in and it wasn't great footage. So we're, I'm speed walking to I-305 because I saw it running. So off we go. I just got off 15th row on I-305. This thing is ridiculous and insanely whippy in the back rows. Anyways, I'm going to the front next. Well, close enough. Just got off second row on this monstrosity of a coaster. It's absolutely unbelievably intense. I don't know what that means, but I made it up. In the front rows, and it's, it's just ridiculous in every row. From rows one to 16, you've got a different experience, and it's always incredible. Wish I could ride every single row of this thing in one day. That ends my day at King's Dominion. I was super thankful to be here for the first time in three years. I'm going to get some footage, then I'm going to skedaddle. Signing off for now, this is Storm, and I am ending my day here at King's Dominion. Peace out, everyone. Have a great day.